there seems to be uh, perhaps a tightening up uh, or a pause in China's opening up policies. And it's been those opening up policies allowing U.S. companies to come here to compete with Chinese companies that has actually benefited both the people of China, and, and we've seen their explosive growth, their increase in their standard of living, while at the same time creating jobs for the people back at home. That opening up has really created a win-win scenario for both jobs in America and the Chinese people. We want that to continue, not to slow down. What are your marching orders from the president as ambassador here? What, have you, what role can you play in facilitating this? How do you create this openness that you're seeking while at the same time not sparking a trade war which would close it. The bright spot is that USA exports made in America goods and services going to China have increased uh, by 32 percent in the year 2010 over 2009. Exports to the rest of the world grew by only about 17 percent. And of course, uh, for instance, in agriculture, it's going to be a record year of agricultural exports around the world. A lot of that coming uh, to China for soybeans, for corn, for alfalfa, you name it. Uh, there's a, a big demand in China for uh, uh, agricultural products and commodities uh, grown and made in in America, as well as machinery, as well as medical devices, uh, great opportunities here in China. So that's one part of our job. The other part of our job is to encourage uh, Chinese companies to open up factories in the United States, hiring people the same way that German factories uh, have opened up in the United States or the Koreans and the Japanese have opened up uh, automobile plants, hiring, employing USA workers or even companies from Brazil and Russia. But where can you get some deliverables? As you say, the Chinese are getting access that Americans are not. Well, that's why we need to impress upon them uh, that we need uh, for American companies the same openness, the same opportunities to uh, to compete and do business here in China the same way that Chinese companies are able to operate freely and, and provide services in America. All we seek is equal treatment, a level playing field, and let, let the consumers decide as to which company uh, offers the superior product at the right price. Uh, but uh, uh, we're going to keep pushing on those. Uh, we've made progress in the past. The Chinese now have a new five-year plan that calls for reform, uh, whether in, in medical devices, health care delivery, uh, and financial services. We want them simply to accelerate those efforts, to accelerate that opening up. How prepared are you for taking the brunt of Chinese criticism in an election year? There's going to be increased rhetoric. There was just the announced arms sales to Taiwan. Your predecessor, Mr. Huntsman, talked about being put in the penalty box on various issues with the Dalai Lama's visit to Washington with then arms sales to Taiwan. Well, I represent the U.S. government here in China, and there will be disagreements on policy, on a variety of different issues, uh, on strategy, on tactics. Have you already been summoned about various issues, nope. particularly uh, no, I've, arms uh, sales to Taiwan? Uh, well, I've not been summoned on any issue, and uh, so far the relationship has been very cordial. Uh, but very frank and very candid.